Don't vlog and drive. Don't worry, I'm reviewing. I'm not vlogging. Technically. Not to worry, guys. I pulled over. I'm not going to drive and hold this thingy. But I was just so excited to share that you guys voted on my scent of the week and Layton by Parfums de Marley was the winner. So that's what I'm wearing this week and I couldn't be happier because I love Layton. I already made a few videos on Layton, whether it's alone or compared to Layton Exclusive. It's a fantastic fragrance, very, very likable, very sweet, very fun, woody, a bit spicy, kind of everything you want in a men's fragrance, especially. I've always preached Layton being kind of a year rounder fragrance, even wearable in the summer. But some of you guys disagree. You guys say, no, 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 too sweet, dude. Too sweet. You're too sweet. <laughs> but it is a hot day, hot enough for me to wear something that's exposing a little too much skin. And three sprays of Layton is smelling really, really awesome so far. So it should be a very interesting week. Should be a very enjoyable week for me. And maybe next week I'll review Havas for all you guys that wanted the Rasasi to win. So technically speaking, Layton is a floriental fragrance. It's a floral oriental fragrance, but really the main floral aspect of it is lavender for the most part. The main notes that I tend to get is vanilla and cardamom. It's that creamy, sweet spiciness that has a little bit of an apple feel to it as well. And here's the thing, a lot of people will say that Parfums de Marly is just an expensive cologne house because you'll have fragrances like Godolphin, which smells a lot like Tuscan leather. But Leighton, on the other hand, even though you can kind of say it's a little bit like Hugo Boss bottled, it isn't. And I'm having such an amazing time wearing it, guys. Thank you for choosing this one. I love Leighton. But in a few days, I'm going to revisit it for a performance test because I want to see how well it performs in the summer when I like to wear it. Here's something fun. It's take your kids to work day. Don't have any kids to take to work, but I have my royal fam. So let's test out Layton together. I've been only doing three sprays with this and I feel like it's been sufficient. So now we'll see if it works with an active day of painting. Did you guys know that I'm a painter? Well, if you don't know, now you know, friends. It's a rainy one, guys, but luckily I'm an indoor interior painter, so not too much of an issue. I applied the fragrance at nine. Good old Layton. Layton. I'm using the Jay Copeland projection test, and I can still smell it in the air around my head. Only three sprays, and it's 1.30 right now, guys. That's great. Great performance so far. For those of you who say that Layton doesn't really have Parfums de Marly style of performance, so far, those people are wrong. I almost threw up. I'm just kidding, you're not wrong. It's just your opinion. Everyone has an opinion, right? All right, just about to leave for the day. Um, I can't say I still smell it off of myself. Yeah, projection's gone. I didn't spray my arm this time because I wanted to get an actual real world wearing. But tomorrow, or maybe the day after, I haven't decided yet, is performance day. Stay tuned for that. Oh my God, it's performance day. Just had a shower, just applied Layton. I did two sprays instead of three because my third spray is on the old forearm. So by the end of the day of a working day, working physically, we'll see how long it's lasting on me. Pretty excited because I haven't really tested Layton's performance before. Checking in at 12.30, four hours after applying. I do get occasional whiffs of Layton, still smells very prominent on my forearm, and I've been working pretty hard today, guys. I've been, I've been sweating. Been wearing Layton for 10 hours. No, that's a lie. It's been eight. I can smell it clearly from here. I wouldn't even call that a skin set, dudes. It's like two inches of projection. <laughs> that's all you need, man, two inches. Uh -huh. <laughs> but seriously, great performance. I had an active day painting. I was sweating all day. I was washing my hands quite regularly. And eight hours, still going strong. Nice. So what were my expectations at the beginning of this week? Pretty high. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Layton. I love the fragrance. I even put out a review on it way back when, not that long ago, actually. And a lot of people were annoyed that I said that it's blind by worthy. But that video was like all my videos. It's just my opinion. It's not good to advocate blind buying a fragrance because you do want to try every fragrance, ideally. But based on the amount that I love Layton, that's just how I expressed it. I did not get any compliments this week, but 
Latent is a compliment getting fragrance. It just didn't attract that sort of attention. But I did get amazing performance, which I wasn't surprised about. I've always had amazing longevity and projection with Layton. This week was no different. Four to five hours of noticeable projection and 12 hours of longevity. Really lasts a long time. I just had a shower and then passed out after the gym, <laughs> to be completely honest. And my arm still smells like Layton real strongly. Now there will be some people that will ask about the batch of my Layton. Maybe my bottle of Layton is just some nuclear batch that has been long discontinued and watered down. I don't really wanna buy into the whole batch conversation too much. I think as fragrance enthusiasts, we kind of rely on the whole batch thing a little bit too hard. Some fragrances, yeah, there is batch variation. There are reformulations over time. To apply that thinking to every single fragrance, it's just tiring. I don't wanna keep a record book of which batch is good, which one's watered down because there's so many variables involved anyway. You could have a good batch and then you didn't take care of it properly and now it doesn't smell as good. Or better yet, you have a bad batch and leave it in your car and then it ages like fine wine. I just wanna stop perpetuating the whole batch thing. It's not that serious. IMO, it's probably really serious to a lot of people out there, but that's okay because that's an example of your opinion. I'll get to opinions in a second. If you wanna see my review on Layton, check it out right there. It's a great video. One of my best, maybe not, probably not, but it's just my opinion. Remember that whole thing about opinions? Get your own, guys. 